Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 36. We're in August. We're working our way towards the end of Wix 3.9, or at least that's what we're trying to do. Um, and in our agenda, we're going to do triage, which is going to be more interesting than, than usual. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those people that are unable to be here right now. Um, it's actually just a few people, but that's all right. We'll go do this. So I think that, oh, now we have a quorum. All right, Jacob just showed up a little late. I'm going to call them out because it's two minutes after, and there have been many times when I haven't even been at this point yet. So, anyway, on that front, triage. Bob, you ready? I am set. I'm trying to elicit a response out of the gallery, and I'm getting nothing. They're all, like, asleep. So, let's start at the bottom. Untriage. Twix 39. When you define a payload... Oh, this bug. Yes, right, this bug. And we have a pull request open. Yep. Cool. Uh, this... Like we talked about last week, um, I looked. I looked at uh, Sean. Your change is fine. I'm. I'm curious about both of the, the comments for, the bundle table and the one of the other BA table or vice versa, where it's like. There should be only one at this point. It's like, hmm. Well, it's good that we're verifying it, but. Do, do we actually do anything? Yeah. Do, do we do anything in the linker to make sure that that's the case? I'm wondering if if there's a uh, if there's an underlying lack of integrity checking that we we should be doing. Yeah, Rob, if you expand the uh, the top of that file, the binder. Yeah, do the yeah, do the little springy thing. Uh, notice the comment there. Yeah. Um, so I think this would be a fine change uh, for three nine. Um, I, I didn't accept the pull request mostly because I haven't actually you know looked at it in detail yet, uh, but also because I'm uh, waiting on the other. Well, I'm waiting on me for the other 3.9 bug. Um, but the fact that for both of these tables, um, yeah, we have this comment that says, this shouldn't be the case. Um, I'm just wondering if, yeah, for 3.10 or 4, uh, there's actually more we can do inside the, the linker to make sure that that's the case. Or if this is just, this is, you know, proper. I agree, there should be only one row, so it's fine to have this check in the binder. Well, Jacob, in that case, you're, are you looking at, you're looking to replace Wix standard BA. Yeah, that one. Yeah, okay. If you're just trying to replace the one row, that's fine. The question is, do you ever have to have two rows? And anyway, I think what happens here is that the bundle, sorry, the compiler, when it parses the bundle element, creates the row in the bundle table. And then when it parses the BA, uh, the Bootstrap replication element, it adds one row. And there's no other mechanism by which to add these rows in the compiler. Therefore, nothing would have ever happened. Um, or you, you can't get into a situation where there's more than one of these, and this check is here mostly for the developers, which is why it throws instead of does an error. It basically comes down to if you did this, you shouldn't, you should yeah. not be able to get here, which is why a Wix exception is thrown and basically comes out and says, you are in a bad place. We don't know how you got here. Have a nice day. <laughs> Please contact us. Yeah. So, so with that, Concepts uh, three nine, or are we going to push this to three ten? Uh, this is the uh, this is the we'll take it if we rebuild for something else. And since I think we'll we'll be rebuilding for the other burn bug or for the burn bug, since this is a minor bug, um, I'll I'll take it at that point. All right. 
So you're putting this in 3.9 and uh, to make sure we track it there. Oh, yes. Okay. Voter thinks bind inputs are content. That's true. It does. That was easy. Oh, unable to load the project? That's a little bit weird. Oh, absolute path outside. And if you make it relative, it works. I never, I didn't know that. I guess I never tried an absolute path. Yep, it's showing us an item with a warning symbol. Yep, that's true. I well, actually, Votive should be doing something more intelligent with bind input paths, but that requires someone to go in and fix Votive. So I, I agree. We should. This bug could be open. Yes. Is is this something? Does this happen for every item extra item group? Yeah, any extra any item that you don't understand gets rendered and then it gets rendered with a funny little icon or a little oh, okay. icon. So Okay, that makes sense. Yes, any element. Just so happens that bind input paths are one of the few items that we have. Yeah. I vote, uh, yeah, I guess I usually use the property. Yes, you could use the property to avoid it. But the items are kind of nice. But oh, yeah. Binary stream regeneration. Settings and get a good copy from the other databases. Yes, that would be cool. Well, I suppose since Mike is present, we have to take it. <laughs> yes, because if he's not here, we tend to just figure out how to route them to the dev null, right? That's it. Yes. This is in 4x, so it may not even happen in 4.0, which is fine. I mean, this one he wants to put in 4.0. Mm, safer stream deletion. So anyway, yes, I think we should open that in 4x. We currently do it right away. For it to end up not being able to commit a database, it would be lost forever. Hmm. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah, sounds like a good thing to put in the first version. Data loss is bad. But yeah, well, it, this is just blowing up your transaction. Oh, our transaction failed. Wait, we've already done stuff. We'll roll it back. Too late. Ah! <laughs> Things happen. Inconsistency, save and load behavior in Wix standard BA. The save page settings does all this on change, reads that, sets it some inconsistencies. All right. For edit boxes is missing. So those values are saved but not loaded. Yeah, really? basically we, we set the we set the variables um, but we don't load them back in. Oh, we only load them once, somehow? Because we must, like, the options page resolves it once. Sorry, the options page is special. It does it for the install folder edit box. Uh-huh. By, by, uh, ah, by specifically um, getting and setting the, the variable. Well, all right. The, the options page, page was the only thing that supported this really so yeah okay. right and it, and it only supported the one edit box yes um i believe it was uh you mentioned it was neil uh with yes. the extended ba stuff that he brought in that kind of generalized it more okay but it generalized it in one direction only ah all right so this sounds like a completely reasonable thing um and we could do it in 3x i don't think it'll break anything i hope probably just start working better um yeah uh, yeah yeah i think this is fine to uh who knows maybe by that time neil will be back and he'll be interested in fixing it there we go uh, okay my lawn is getting cut yeah that was loud so yes. like the truck just went by Pretty much. all right so so yeah 3x um, yeah, I, I'm, I, I think this is fine for 3x. I think it'd be weird to rely on the current behavior. So, binder option SPD is deprecated without alternative. Um, uh, I think I think this is your bug. I think yeah, you this over deprecated. No, so, so not suppressed PDB still exists in four. Really? Yeah. Well, then that's probably a bug. Um, oh, you intended to remove the ability to suppress the PDB? Yeah, 
because I think we said we needed it for patching in all cases, so there's no point in suppress the PDB, and the other compilers don't let you suppress the PDB. Really, C sharp? As far as I, I could be. Ah, uh, uh, I thought, but that's now operating off my memory, which of course is highly available. Um, so I'm, I'm fine to say, yeah, we should allow you to suppress the PDB if we really think we should be able to. I, for some reason, thought we were going the other way. Um, uh, um, yeah, that's. I guess that's an interesting question. Uh, so this is either one bug or two. <laughs> it's either this right. bug, which is this should not be deprecated, or it's not document documentation needs to be updated in the help, and um, it needs to be removed in four. Does anybody like? I, I guess I just thought we were doing this, I'm, and should I put SPD back? Suppress PDB back? Well, you're not putting it back. I could put it back at 3.9. Oh, sorry. Sorry, undeprecated. Uh, right, sorry. right, right. Sorry. It, it, uh, it's the removal of the warning. Yes. Uh, do we want to keep suppressed D PDB? I mean... I guess I would put this in the category of, you know... Uh, what does C sharp do? Okay. Or or CL for that matter. I mean, you know, like what what are the if they offer it? Eh, on the other hand, it's not like it's a perf win, really. No. Unless you're using three X binary PDBs, but if you're doing that, you did extra stuff to use them, so. Oh, right, right, right. But that doesn't exist in 4 either, so, because the whole feature doesn't quite work out yeah. in the end. Um, this is supposed to be easy. Are we going to deprecate right. it or not? <laughs> Sorry, you're trying to run a CSD command line over there somewhere? Me? Yes, are you? Is that... I'm, I'm uh, trying to find it on MSDN, actually. Ah. Uh. Good luck with that. Yeah. And then what would they call it? Hmm. So few opinions. People are like, eh. Whatever. I mean, obviously... Even if there were a perf win uh, or weren't a perf win, you can still just, you know, ignore the file. Delete it if you really, really dislike it. Yeah, the thing is that it's a good thing to have around as you go forward. Like, we're building more dependencies on that thing, not less as we learn more and more about the way we should be doing things. Um, I, well, it's definitely, I mean, it's definitely a good thing. Um I guess the 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 weirdness in C sharp is that you don't get a PDB unless you are doing debug build. Oh, you specify whether you want a PDB. Well, by specifying that you want a debug build. No, you can get a PDB for a release build. I agree. Okay. I'm just I'm just reading the doc. I don't know what it, you know, what the actual behavior is. All right. So they have a way of not specifying their creation of their PDB. It do, appears that way. Do we want to allow that then? I guess. Um. Uh, I don't have strong opinions. I really don't. All right. Well, give this bug to me, and I'll remove the deprecation. And if we don't have strong feelings, then probably not worth going through the hassle of having people deal with it. 
What are you saving by disabling it? I don't know. What are you saving by not specifying the PDB? Jacob, is that the question? Yeah, you, you end up not having a .wix PDB file created in your folder. I don't know what you're saving. Uh, some very small sliver of time of actually writing the file to disk. It's not a very big file, though. <sighs> no. It it's literally takes a block of data that you already have and writes it to disk. Because it builds it up as it's going along anyway. No, no, no. The PDB is used internally as it's going along. So, All right, well, we'll remove the deprecation since it's still there in 4, and we can, and you can decide if you want it in 3 or 3.9. Three Presumably, I guess you'll have to take it in 3.9 if you want to get the message out of there. Otherwise, it's going to scare people and then put it back in. So your call, Bob. I will go remove the deprecation if it's still in 4. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I, I thought this was straightforward because suppressed PDB was still in four. Um, okay. Now it's a well, but but you know. Now you're thinking, thinking about it. That was well. Now that I know that that the fact that it's in four is is itself a bug. You know, I'm like. Well, well, no. I mean, if we keep it here, we'll keep it in four. Yeah, well, sorry. Uh, it, the deprecation is appropriate if you want to remove it from 4. Right. Um, I, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it because I think, you know, PDBs are just too good to have around. Um, I, don't, I don't know why people want to remove them except that, you know, by default they go to the same directory. So, you know, I don't know. Some people were like, uh, I don't want it. I'm not shipping it, so don't put it in that directory or something like that. Um, I don't know. It, basically, it's up to you whether you want to deprecate it or, sorry, remove it in four. Um, and then based on that, we either have the message here or we don't. Let's see what C sharp or C plus plus does. Let's come back to it as I think about it in the background. Okay. Background process that, and we'll come back to it today. Um, binding of MBA prereq language, user language, and current culture instead of current culture UI. Yes. So this goes back to three eight. Um, three eight. Okay, so this is three eight behavior. Yeah. Uh, I, sorry. My assumption is that it's three eight, uh, just based on what changed in three seven. Okay. There were, there were no changes to loc. And yeah. Very few oh, and it works in three six. So yeah, it'll be three eight. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. This is weird. So we have we have this we have a problem. Why is that? In that we want to maintain compatibility with XP in two thousand three, oh. or or certainly back in three eight we wanted to before XP went out of service. Um, the so there are two different ways of looking at this. One is what's the proper uh, priority of the various languages that you can get into on Windows, and in that, for that in instance, we're doing the right thing. We yeah. say we, we we use the user language before we fall back to the system language. Which, um, that and that's the way Windows XP expected things to work. Well, I, I think that's how things pretty much work everywhere. It's okay. just that it, after XP, starting in Vista, Loke got probably better, but at the same time more complicated. Right. Because in XP, it's fairly simple. It's like you, know, the, you, you had limited choices for 
for you know how things work. Basically, the the OS had a language, and there was a user language that you could you know throw on top of it. Uh, God, what those called? Those were lips, right? That's yeah. You know, some yeah, some that language yeah. packs you could install. Well, yeah. Well, lips and language packs were were different. I mean, lips on XP were kind of uh, a, a bigger a bigger wholesale change of the OS than than a language package. Language package just installs additional resource files and everything's fine. Uh, but but basically, yeah, there, there there was a priority, and I think the the priority order we're taking is is correct. We say if the user has chosen a language, we should respect that before we fall back to the. Uh, to the system language. Mm -hmm. um, after uh, starting with Vista, there's uh, that priority is something the OS will actually help with. You know, things got more formal, so you can end up with a list of preferred languages in priority order. Um, and what we're doing is we're doing that within the, con the confines of XP, where basically you, you know, you had user language and you had system language. So the question is, can we do something like add code that go, if on Vista, do it this way, if on XP, do it that way? Um, that might be the question, yes. All basically, right. The, so what changed between 3.6 and 3.8 was, you know, we changed the the function that we were calling, and I think that that, it, that was a behavior change that this bug is talking about. I see. I don't think we, you know, we didn't change, like, the priority. You know, it's still user, then system. But what we were using before I think was a little different, and it did some of the, um, uh, yeah, some of that you know priority processing for us. Whereas what we're doing now, we're well, what we're doing now is doing it ourselves by hand. So what do we do now? Oh. Damn it! I thought you weren't going to ask. Um, I don't want to change it. I think what we're doing now is arguably correct. Um, whether something <laughs> and sorry, what we're doing now is arguably correct based on on you know that era. We want to take up the Vista model. I think is where we should, you know, where we should end up, or at least aim toward. Um, that will, you know, probably be more correct uh, for the modern era. So no change in three nine from three eight, and in three ten maybe it gets smarter. Or does this move to four, where we try to go fix it in a bigger way? Um, yeah, I don't know if I, I don't know what kind of change. Because I know that this these changes happened. Like I know the change in three eight happened because we were not doing things correctly. Like if you did other things, you did not fall back correctly or something like that. And that wouldn't surprise me at all. Yeah, like I said, we're we're. What we're doing now isn't wrong. Um, and it's arguably, yeah, <laughs> I do like that word. Um, yes, it's 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 an arguably correct way of of handling Loke while remaining compatible with with XP in two thousand three. Um, uh, the problem we go to Vista, then things do get tougher. You know, we're back into uh, um, you know, how do we handle uh, culture versus Lang ID? You know, 
Elsids are nice. Uh, it gets more complicated with Vista. It, it's all doable. Um, I, I don't know. I'm willing to put this in, in 3X and see if we can come up with an approach, but it might be something that's big enough that, yeah, we have to move it to 4. So you want to put this in 3X, open it in 3X and see what happens? Um, yes. Okay. And who's it going to then? You? You're going to end up with all the 3-9 bugs, unless someone else wants it. I'm sorry, I'm saying we open this bug in 3X. Oh, 3X. Sorry, I, th I heard 3-9 somewhere along the line. Oh. Okay. Fine. No, I don't, I don't, I don't want to... <laughs> Basically... I, I don't have enough confidence in a change. Got I it. want to do something in 3.9. All right, but you're okay putting it in 3X. Yeah. yeah the idea of doing better on Vista Plus. Yeah, yeah. If someone wanted to do that, I think that's excellent, an excellent idea. Um, because, you know, like I said, we're doing some of this stuff manually that Vista would do for us. Right. It would bring additional work to, you know, stay compatible, but, you know, it's not, it's not wrong at all. Okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look. Yeah, well, you know, it's a mess, and it's enough of a mess that there's, you know, a whole industry around handling it. Yeah. Um, and we're just kind of Stone Knights of Bearskins. Missing cache acquire progress during update replace. During update action overall progress is always zero if the BA provided zero for the size of the set update. It'd be nice if the engine could use the same size from head to calculate the overall progress. It does this in normal. Yes, I agree. I thought it did this. Oh, updates. Yes. It does this. I think it uses head. If Sean's still awake, we didn't put him to sleep with all the Loke stuff. I thought it does the head. It updates the size of the overall progress for caching. I guess it just doesn't do that for updates. Does that make sense, Sean or Jacob? That's interesting. So I'm pretty sure it does that for caching. It like, it starts with whatever you have in the manifest, and then, oh, if the BA provided zero, right? I think it starts with the manifest, and then it uses the head to update the actual size. Well, in this case, it would be the atom feed, but yes. Yes, so the atom feed says the size is zero, or there isn't a size. And then when you do a head request, it doesn't update the overall progress. Uh, yes. So... Right. I see. So there's no... All right, I don't know this code well enough to know how easy it is to do that, to tell the, the thing. But I agree, it would be a cool thing, and I think it's fine to do it in 3x. Because caching does this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to look to double-check, but I'm almost certain that caching updates the overall progress based off of the actual file sizes it gets. So it starts with, you know, what it knows from the manifest... And then if the actual file is different size out there, it updates it. So the progress bar you know, can move around in the end. But it ends up being correct. So 3x, because we don't need to take this in 3.9 right away. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah. And people are typing, so I'm like, I feel like we put everybody to sleep on that Lang discussion. Yeah, oh, me too. <laughs> All right, well then, I think we could do that. It would be interesting to see if it's possible to do this, but I agree, that would be good. Feed doesn't include size of bundle. So this is a website issue. Yeah. 
yeah. Yeah, this is just a matter of getting the size. It's, yeah, it's a build script thing. Um, you can give this to me, and I'll see if I can get to it. Because um, I know where that... Oh, is it? It actually is... Oh, this is in the 3.9 build, actually. Because the size has to be in the JSON file in the end. The metadata. Yeah, anyway, give this to me, and we'll figure out where it goes. I'll, I'll see if I can't get to it. Okay. Because someone else trying to go in there will take them a lot longer. I mean, if someone wants to take it from me, they can, but it's a whole lot of plumbing stuff you have to understand. To It's, it's the... It's, I think you're going to find it's the connect between the build and the website update, which means you have to put two widely disparate things together to see how it goes together, which will just take more time. Oh, make SFX CMA produce DLLs not following the spec. You know, this may be the root issue of those other random issues where people would add methods and stuff like that and cause things to fail. So it sounds like. You get something like that. Interest is supposed to be sorted by ASCII in order for a binary search. Ah ha ha! Ah ha! That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. This bug is awesome. <laughs> um, cool. I assume we're going to do this in 3x? Uh, yeah, it's probably been there since Wix 3.0. So. It's been there since the dawn of time for DTF. That's awesome. This bug is awesome. How does it normally... Like... Wow. I bet this is the root of all those other bugs. Sounds like it. That one's cool. I like that bug. Um, anyway, it would be a good book to fix, though. Probably not even that hard to fix. Well, depends. Probably, I don't know. Well, yeah. I, I say that not knowing anything about the internal workings of DTF, but yeah. It's cool. All right. As always, if someone want to try to grab it and bring it 3.9, we can see what the change looks like if we really do that. Yes. All right, well... Good on that person for tracking that down. That's awesome. ANSI version of WC. There's already a bug open on this. I don't know why people want to do ANSI. It's just like, stop. There's no advantage to it. Fine. Put it in, put it in 3 acts. It's additive. Or dupe it to the other bug. That I swear there's another bug already about WC. I get property being... Actually, for a long time, it was open in 3.9, wasn't it? Yes. I think uh, someone had volunteered to do it, and we haven't... And it never came. I haven't seen anything. Um, oh, actually, uh, that's kind of funny. We have the opposite bug, um, which is create Unicode version of is property set. Oh. Yeah, I'm not excited at all about maintaining ANSI versions. I'm not even sure I want this feature. Yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, but we don't change it. I, 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 but it's nice to use generics for compatibility. I don't get it. No. Generics to use generics. I don't know why you'd want to, because essentially it's converting it to, if I remember correctly, everything's Unicode, and then it does, it does a conversion to get to ANSI, so. Anyway, I don't. Um, all right, so I guess that can be open in 3X. I don't, not at all excited about having W and A versions of everything. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced. There, there's no... I need this because. All right, let me go look at four and see what I was thinking about in four, and then I'll come back to Wix users or Wix devs today or tomorrow with whatever for this fix. 
Is that all right? I just need to go do some investigation on this sure. one. That's and it's fine. open assigned to me in 3.9, so that sounds like the right place to put it. Yep. And we have some 3.8 open bugs. That's oh, that's out. right. That's right. Uh, no, no Blair. Um, yes, we should look at those as well. Yeah, so patch creation documentation 1.0 to 1.1 to 1.n. Mm -hmm. So this is wixtoolset.org, so it can be done at any time. It's just currently open in 3.8. That's interesting. Should we put it in 3x until someone wants to take it? Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, this doesn't, this shouldn't be in a specific yeah. release. Yeah, all right. Undefined processor variable. Yeah. And we keep telling this person to go send email. Oh. And he keeps <laughs> changing it to from support to blank and to cause it to open again. He's obviously not reading the comments. All right, so let's go close that again. No message shown when bundle not run with admin user passive. What? Oh, I remember this. We have an existing bug to engine the fail fast when it can't elevate. When in passive mode, the UI cannot block, so there's no opportunity to show any message. Um, I think I should have closed this when I made that comment. Ah. All right, cool. Well, that will make that bug go away then. Yeah. Yeah, because if there's no you, if yeah, if you can't show dialogue, then yeah, we fail, right? Okay. That's the root cause. Oh yes. That didn't well, have permissions. Yeah. This this is the the problem if you're a standard user, you can't elevate um, We can't show a prompt because you told us not to show a prompt and so the whole thing fails. Right. Cool. Then cool. So that's all those. All right. So which gets us now to this point. <laughs> Discussion about where we're at. Um and what's going on. Um, so we have a couple things we're going to look at taking in Wix 3.9. I, I didn't know what we would do today, so I think we should have a discussion about when we're going to finish 3.9 next week. Maybe we delay that part, that discussion to next week after we see what we do with these bugs that just came in. Um, yeah, yeah. So the, the thing, the problem with 3.9 is, well, sorry, my biggest concern about 3.9 is bug 4490, um, we have a fix for the other real bug, we have the suppressed PDB thing, we have the, the P bundle size thing. Um, uh, yeah, that could be fixed. I don't... Yeah, the, the, yeah, that's disconnected from the code, so I'm... Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, 4490 is the backward compatibility Yes. Problem. Uh, I have some more logs. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to actually repro what he, what the bug reporter is reporting. Oh. Well, I now that said, you know, completely different scenarios. You know, like there's a custom. He's using a custom BA. I'm using Wix standard BA. But did you My, get the did the internal command object get set correctly? I mean the the Relation get set correctly? That bug was about the relation not being set up correctly, right? Well, yeah. It's more complicated than that. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Yeah. All right, so we have that bug. So I, I guess my question is just, you know, is Labor Day still the idea, or is it somewhere else? Uh, Labor Day is now a, a it would be nice if... Um, I'm a little worried that we keep coming up every week with more three nine bugs that people are finding now. Yeah, and, and that's why I'm, I'm I'm not so hot on hitting a particular date. Right. Uh, you know, these are real things, and you know, we we definitely need to at least understand them. Um, and some of them have been serious enough to yeah, we need to we need to fix them. Um. 
I'm certainly at that point with 4490. We need to understand and probably fix that bug. Okay. okay. <clears throat> um, but, you know, I, I'm not there. I don't understand it yet, so can't fix it. And, you know, next Monday is two weeks from Labor Day. Right. That's so, what I was thinking. Yeah. Labor Day is, is pretty optimistic at this point. All right. And that's kind of – all right. So we'll we'll reconvene after we know more, basically. Okay. Yeah. Next week we'll have this discussion again, um, which yes. dovetails well with 310. I don't see anything people pressing for any 310 work right now. So I think we can just keep delaying that unless anybody else out there is like, no, 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 really, I want to get this bug in that is queued up against 310. Well, the nice thing, based on how we have the repos and branches set up, is that anyone who wants to work on a 310 bug can happily do so in their current clone, the current their current clone of the Wix3 repo, in you know, based off the develop branch. Yep. Because that's going to become 310. Yes, that's true. So, but I don't see anything that's really pushing us that we need to get to the point where we need to start thinking about 310 type things. Uh, I don't I don't see anything either. Yep, cool. So 310 start, we'll continue to slide. I just bring it up in case someone says, oh, I have this thing, it would be really great if we had a 310 build to fix this really bad bug that you're not taking 3.9 or something, but that hasn't happened. Right. Um, so we had a whole bunch of people throw out features uh, to do in Wix 4. Um, it was this awesome list, which was pretty encompassing before. Um, I'm, I'm looking for people that threw out name, you know, items that they'd like to see in there to start kind of going, how, you know, are they going to start doing those soon? Are they really keen on getting them done? I was trying to get some gauge of, it's easy to throw features out, but are we going to do all those, you know, in the 4.0 time frame? Um, I think we probably should go through and classify them um, of things that are that require breaking changes. I went through and I didn't see a, there was a couple I think that needed breaking changes, but a number of them that could have been done in a 4.1 if right, we wanted right. to. Um, but there may be things we want to do in 4.0 that are not the whole feature, but enable the feature to be done easier later. So anyway, I just wanted to get people thinking about, that was an awesome list of features. We need to start thinking about how are we going to make that happen um, in the not too long distant future so that we can start getting into the Wix 4.0 timeline because we're going to decide is it really this year? It's you know probably not this year if we're going to do any number of those. Um, it's probably uh, next year at this point. But well, I wanted I, to get... I agree with you that that it, Certainly, the list that I came up with was uh, mostly could be additive throughout 4.x. 4, 4 right. Um, and, but you're right. There are things like, you know, if we want to prepare for the uh, the removal or the, the ice replacement yep. project, you know, well, we're going to have to look at that and figure out. Uh, I think I already said this. Yeah. You know, do we need to add something to the extension so that, you know, we can we could actually replace all of the ices? Yes, so I, that is one, for example, that I think we'll need work in the core to set it up to be very successful later without necessarily doing all the work later. Yep. Um, there is something else that I'm not remember off the list. Anyway, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, if, if people have comments, that's great, but mostly I'm just trying to get in your guys' head to start thinking about, I mean, that list makes a lot of sense. We need to start thinking about moving that list forward if it's going to happen in the 4.0 time frame. And if so, if we're going to do start doing a bunch of these things, which would be awesome, you know, whatever the answer is, what is the 4.0 time frame from there? So um, we just want to, I guess, basically just getting too cool. 4.0 is well started, so let's go be started. <laughs> go put stuff in there. Um, yeah, I, I, I want to caution against the, the <laughs> of course, I'm partially to blame. Um, uh, We've had this problem before where it's like, ooh, all new playground, so let's start throwing stuff onto the playground. Um, but that's what leads to the you know years-long development cycle. Um, so I, I do kind of like the idea that we, you know, we set some soft targets perhaps, but we have targets to say, well, okay, this stuff we have to get in, but 
you know, by a certain date, but the rest, there's a train. There's a shipping train in the 4.x series, so let's take advantage of that and not try to squeeze everything into, into you know, 4.0. Yes, no, I'm, I'm just trying to get people thinking, 4.0 is going, if you want stuff in, we need to start thinking about getting it in, or it, or at least what the first step is if it needs it. Otherwise, yeah. it's not happening in 4.0, and it right. happen later in 4.x if it can be done as a 4.x thing. Yep. So let's let's start. There. I know everybody's still doing the three nine thing, which is good, and just want to start thinking about four oh more and more. As uh, I think we're going to become reactive on three nine of the. All right, no more bugs. Wait a little bit longer for anybody to find anything, and then move forward. Fly, fly. Yes. Cool. Cool. And Carlson has been typing in here forever. There we go. Yes. So, right. Getting your the timeline for 4.0 would be good for the settings engine as well. So, on that front, anything else? Any more generic questions? Things like that? I really feel like the whole meeting fell asleep at that language discussion. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that, that one, that DTF bug kind of woke people up. But um, Anyway. We can't count on those forever. <laughs> well, it did come after the language bug, so. Yeah, right. true. Anything, anything? People are like, nah, dude. It's Thursday in the middle of August. It's hot or it's cold or it's whatever it is for you. It's actually chilly here today, which is kind of nice. 90 at the beginning and 70 something by the end of the week. It's kind of nice. Down with that. Um, anything else? Anything else? Near freezing in northern Wisconsin. Well, I'm glad I don't live there. <laughs> 33 degrees. That's insane. Wow. All right, people. Uh, about 50-minute meeting. I do. Did Jacob just propose to somebody? I don't uh, know. That's what you said. Well, he's, he's sad about it, so that's not good. I don't understand. What did I just say? <laughs> Oh, oh, I see. Oh, he knows what it means because he lives in Wisconsin. That's right. You and Eric figured out you guys live close to each other. All right. Well, on that that freezing note, um, we'll move forward and uh, call it good. Thank you, everyone. The whole three nine shipping is turning out to be exciting. I think it, this might be one of those where we we put a build out there and we just let it sit for a long time. Maybe we just do that at this point. Yeah. Anything, no, that's. That's reasonable. So, but we we can talk about that next week if we have more. We'll talk about it when we have more data about that that last bug, and we'll see what the incoming keeps staying like. So, on that note, I'm out. We'll talk to you guys uh, next week. Cool. Yes. Good. Works for me. All right, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.